The designs in business class are just as atrocious. So, this is the era of avant-garde? Hmm, that's not quite right. It is... Oh, God! That difference is everything. You have to embrace it. Uh, okay. I have to say, and stop me if you've heard this before, your choice in fashion is terrible. An affront to art itself. I never thought I'd meet a man who can walk around happily dressed like that. Uh. Hey, it isn't that bad, right? Oh, please. It's bad, bad. Looks like you don't even have the right clothes to go shopping for clothes. No, go ahead. Tell me how you really feel. Uh, I can't open my heart to those with no understanding of art. After all, spending unproductive time sullies my brain, <laughs> damages my creativity. I don't have a leg to stand on with this guy. But I also can't just pass him over. Not with a name that starts with a D. Mm. You know, I'll give you a chance, though. Prove you can get with the dress code, and we may be able to chat. Just one item. Wear one single item that's cutting edge. And come see me again. Oh, Von God! <laughs> Sounds like a real drag. I wonder if there's anything tucked away in my closet that might help. What are you doing here? <laughs> this big fella, I've met him before somewhere, but I can't remember where. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. Messing with 
this puppy! More lightning? Bad! Real bad! Bolt! I said! You're never, ever, ever gonna get my big guy! Big night! Bitch! Antonio Zapatero! <laughs> There you are! You're this young I've been hearing so much about. Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on thee, though. What be in there for me? Hey, papi! <laughs> so how about... You die, fucker! <laughs> Wait! There's no way to stare at truth or dare! If you want to know about me, go on that fucking investigation. Hand over your evidence. Whatever it is. I need it. Are you serious? <laughs> you did this so silly. Then I'll just have to take it. By force. Hot If you really do know who D is, I'll. Oh! I really know? You're what? Got serious. <sighs> All right, Zapatero. I'm knocking this one out of the park. <laughs> no hitting back at the picture. This is how you use a megaphone. Hey, you <laughs> what is the evidence you have? <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> My dress is high when flying. You want to drink? You fucking dumbass! Maybe, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you know about tea?
Olivia? Rabbit? The courier, he... vanished? Rabbit would never hide in here. doing that for? You there. Perfect timing. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best not to touch them. <laughs> but I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. I need to try and calm it down. Striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Do you think this plane is okay? First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking! The windows! You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? What? You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, fall from an airplane and you'll die. So just keep your fear-mongering to yourself. 
There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here then? You also take notes on suspicious people, right? That's right. There's you, of course, and I've got notes on that guy with the mannequin. Oh, I've got his number. He's one of them object sexuals. I'll have to take your word for that. It's a term applied to individuals who fall in love with inanimate objects. Come on, you've heard of it. A type of paraphilia. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, love has no boundaries. What about the guy with the scar on his forehead? Stony face, in business class? Oh yes, workaholic, textbook. He's got it bad too. He's either using his work to run away from something or work itself is his reason for living. Reason for living. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, it doesn't matter what it is, just find a reason to live. The front is a cherry blossom pattern, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? It's a domestic flight, no large bags. Cherry blossoms and snow are switched. No mistake. So what does that mean? When did you move to this seat? When indeed. Young Mr. Young. So funny you would ask. What does that mean? If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all People should understand. Cutlery has to be stainless. Don't you agree? That lightning strike. How did you know about it? Before it even happened. Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad. But you need to be able to observe a little more carefully. engine isn't damaged. You have good observational skills. 
You already know the answer. Am I correct? Do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me to do your job for you. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? You saw her. Did she remind you of little Peggy? What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are things with a special meaning for you. What are you talking about? Can them if you can. You may discover something about her. Clover represent your of her. Don't let them slip away. Oh. <laughs> 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 